Before we can start with the setup of the Nitro key, we need to define a new certificate template in Active Directory Certificate Services, ADCS. The purpose of the certificate template is to sign the certificates issued for SmartCard and Nitro key logon. The certificate template describes the possible use cases and constraints, such as attributes and their values. In the Certificate Template Console, certpl.msc, we first create a duplicate of the SmartCard Logon template. We are then adapting the compatibility settings to our IT environment, which only consists of Windows clients newer than Windows 10 and Windows Server 2012. Technically the SmartCard support requires a Windows version newer than Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 or 2. Afterwards we set the template name to NitroKey and set its purpose to Signature and SmartCard Logon. In the cryptography settings we choose Category Provider and select Key Storage Provider. This provider is only available in newer versions of Windows and its availability depends on the earlier chosen compatibility settings. As an algorithm we keep RSA with a key length of 2048-bit because it is the recommended algorithm by Microsoft. Alternatively, an elliptic curve key with NIST P256 algorithm can be used. For the subject name we choose, supply in the request. This setting is not recommended for production deployments. In a production environment the default of building the subject name from Active Directory information should be used. This also implies the use of enrollment agents for administration. Eventually we save the settings. After the creation of the certificate template, we open the Certificate Authority Console, certserv.msc. For the purpose of this example we generate the private key on the Nitro key with the Nitro key utility. Technically it is also possible to generate the key externally and write it to the Nitro key. We choose to generate the key in key slot 9A, which is the authentication slot of the PIV smart card. According to the settings made in the certificate template in the previous step, we use a RSA 2048. The subject name and subject alternative name are set according to the user account in the Active Directory. These attributes identify a user account in the Active Directory. In this example they refer to the user principal name and common name attribute of the user object. After the key generation the certificate signing request, CSR, is automatically created. The request is saved to a file as it is required for the next step. The certificate signing request, CSR, is now being signed using the Active Directory Certificate Services, ADCS. In this example we use the root certificate authority of the domain and the name of the certificate template to sign the request. After signing the certificate, it is saved to a file which is required for the next two step.
the certificate file from step 3 is written to the key slot 9A. This is the same key slot in which the private key was generated. The certificate file from step 3 also needs to be imported on the client computer the user wants to use for logon. In the certificate manager, certingr.msc, we first select the personal key store, and then start the import assistant. As the key store is already defined, we only need to submit the certificate file we want to import. After importing, the certificate is listed in the key store and can be used. After successfully configuring the certificate template and generating a certificate for the user, we can now attempt the first logon to the client with the Nitro key. On the logon screen we click on Sign in Options below the username and credential field which shows all available options. In case of only one option available the button is not visible. As we already have the Nitro key connected, we have the options between password and smart card logon. In the credentials field we now enter the PIN of the Nitro key's PIV smart card and confirm the logon. After a few seconds we are successfully logged in.